My name is Paige Sickmiller. I'm a senior captain on the Wayne State women's basketball team. I'm from Romeo, Michigan and went to Romeo High School. All right. My name is Amelia Davis. I'm a senior on the women's basketball team. I'm from Temperance, Michigan and I went to Bedford High School. Uh, I first chose Wayne State um, because, mainly because of the family atmosphere. Um, when I came here on my visit, I really liked the way that um, all the athletic teams really embraced each other, and it was a big family atmosphere. It was small enough to where you knew everyone, but big enough to where you, there were still some things you, you had to explore on your own. Um, and plus academics on top of that and being close to home, it, it, was, it just seemed like the perfect fit. I chose Wayne State because I was recruited and I first came on my visit and the campus was a lot nicer than I was expecting. Um, also it has like a bunch of different majors. I wasn't really sure on what I was going to choose yet, kind of deciding between engineering or maybe even nursing. I know that was a lot different, but ended up with engineering and it's a good program, so I was really happy about that. Um, my favorite memory here at Wayne State, um, I've had a couple. First one being um, my sophomore year when we beat Lake State here at home. Um, since my freshman year we always kind of had a little bit of a rivalry with Lake State um, from the beginning so whenever we beat them it was always it was always a good thing and then um, more recently um, this year even though you know not necessarily participating but with the team being able to beat some teams that we haven't um, beat in the past with, including like Northwood um, and teams like that so um, just things like that kind of building on those milestones here at Wayne State I think is I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of that so those are definitely my favorite memories. My favorite memory at Wayne State would I would say one of them is just kind of our second half of our sophomore season when we kind of had some trouble and we got down to only about eight players and started out we didn't think the season didn't start out the best we I think we were 0-6 at the beginning and we really finished out the season with the same eight players. We played really well together and really formed kind of a strong bond and close friends and just ended out pretty well. Um, I think it was really important for us four to stay at Wayne State, um, me, Amelia, Deanna, and Faye, um, just because we had been through so much together that I don't think I could find it in myself to leave them. Um, I couldn't imagine myself playing with any other group of girls and more importantly those, those three. So I think, it was, I think it was big that we stayed together. Um, I think it contributes a lot to our success we're having this season. And I, I just couldn't imagine, I, I, st I stayed here because I can't imagine myself wearing any other colors but green and gold. I can't, this is, this is home. So despite any changes, this is where I wanted to be. Um, it was really important after the change to stay. I think it really wasn't even an option from our freshman and sophomore year, there was a lot of changes and stuff, so we really just, like I said before, kind of formed a strong bond and family, like these are my sisters almost, and uh, it just really helped us out, I feel like, from playing from day one all the way up through here to really have some consistency, because that kind of lacked at the beginning, and uh, as you can see, now our senior year, our team's doing great, and it's really great to see that happen. Um, Amelia and I came in together our freshman year and we hadn't we didn't know each other we never really even heard of each other um, but right from the beginning I feel like we kind of had we had a bond we 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 meshed really well even though we were we're two totally different personalities I'm you know the type of person that's gonna speak what's on my mind and Amelia is not as con not very confrontational so um, when you think it would clash, it meshed perfectly, and we've lived with each other every year since we've been here, and I couldn't imagine living with anybody else. This girl's my best friend, and um, unfortunately having to go through the same injury this year, um, it's, it's great to be able to confide in somebody, but at the same time, I'd rather go through it alone than have her go through it as well. So, um, But it's, it's, it makes it easier to be able to have each other shoulder to lean on, somebody to understand, so I wouldn't... I couldn't ask for a better friend or teammate, so. Um, I think from our freshman year, we started out all as close friends, you know, it was like eight freshmen coming in with only three returners, so it was all like we had to stick together from the beginning. We were all coming in here new and trying to start a new program and stuff, so that's how we kind of started out, and that's the same. We just built through the years. We, Me and Paige have lived together ever since, and um, with the injury and stuff too, like she said, we definitely wouldn't want it to happen to each other but it's almost I guess if it had to happen it's kind of comforting to go through it at the same time we can talk about it we can joke about it kind of we both had big knee braces at the same time and I don't know it just helps a little bit <laughs>
I think the women's basketball program here has changed tremendously since our freshman year. Um, from one, I mean, there's different coaching staff now, but um, also just like the community and everything that is around it and just the, the energy that the team brings, the commitment that's there now, the discipline. Um, it wasn't always there when we first got here. So the fact that it's there now, I think, you know, it mirrors a lot on the court what, with our success. Um, with what I want to leave behind when somebody hears my name down the road is that I always came in and you, you better believe that I put my best foot forward all the time. I always gave 100% and that I was a warrior. I, that's, that's the main thing that I would want to leave behind, that I was, did my best to be the epitome of what a warrior is supposed to be. Um, I'd say from our freshman year, it's been a lot of changes too, obviously with the coaching staff and stuff. And now it's just like I kind of said before, there's more consistency with the players. We've had, we have like six seniors this year. And uh, so that's definitely different than it has been in the past. And it's nice just to think about, like, I just keep thinking like, this is the first time we've had a winning season in a while. Yeah. Like it feels good. It feels good to be out there, like to watch these girls and think how we it, all these teams we played like it was always such a battle and now we can actually come out on the top side of it on the winning side and uh, I think down the road it will just be nice to be a part of the teams that led up to this to actually be on top of the GLIAC and um, I don't know to actually be a team to be scared of. Um, my major is communications with a minor in broadcast journalism and um, after graduation this May um, one of a few things could happen if I end up getting the red shirt I definitely want to come back and play for my to get my senior year back um, but if that doesn't happen then I have a few different opportunities um, different paths to take I might want to start in radio maybe do an internship with that um, either that or maybe go down the strength coach um, road and I actually have an internship offer at Notre Dame that I might take over the summer depending on my red shirt status so quite a few different you know ways to take good opportunities to ahead of me so I'm excited for it. I am majoring in civil engineering and I'll be graduating in May. I'm kind of thinking about I've been looking for jobs we'll see how that goes but uh, I would like probably to be in the transportation engineering field I'm thinking about that. Um, if the opportunity comes that I can somehow play again I would love that it would be it have to be kind of the right fit like I probably would be going for my master's, so that would also be a factor in that, but definitely if it comes along, I, this really makes you miss it and don't want to take it for granted and stuff, so it would definitely be a good choice. I guess I just want to say that how much I've loved being a Wayne State Warrior, um, and I, 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 did, I think just to the underclassmen, the biggest thing I would want to say is just to embrace it because you, don't, you have no idea how fast it goes by. Um, before you know it, it's gonna be, you're going to be doing your own senior spotlight and um, it just it goes by really fast and you don't, you don't realize what it is until it's almost gone. So um, just really embrace it, realize what an amazing place this is and um, just realize how blessed you are, how blessed I am to have been part of it. Um, I guess I would like to say thank you for giving me this great opportunity, a great athletic opportunity and as well as academic. Uh, same thing, like thank you for all my teammates, how great of close we've become, and um, that's the same for the underclassmen. Don't take it for granted because you don't know what might happen, yeah. but uh, just keep hard, working hard and keep winning a tradition.